Well, how much faith do you have in uh, Kabe as he goes back to EU and joins Misfits, obviously double lift replacing him on TSM? Uh, man, he, he comes from EU to LCS, has one split, and then all of a sudden he's back in the LEC. And he joins a Misfits squad, Emily, that... Look, they, they finished in fifth, but they fizzled in the playoffs facing Rogue. And a lot of the players like Dan Dan, Razork, Febeven, like there's some flashes of brilliance throughout the season. But when you look at the stats, they're kind of like, eh, fifth among KDA for Febeven, eighth among junglers for Razork. Like they, they don't like pop out as a team that you would put stock into. Does How much does Kabe improve this team? I mean, I think Kabe's strengths are that he can play weak side uh, well. Um, and he is typically a very strong team fighter. I know I'll probably receive some pushback from people who saw some of his struggles with TSM, but it didn't seem like that team had particularly good internal communication. Um, I think that the big thing with Misfits, where I think Kabe could actually like in, you know improve this team significantly, is that... Um, you know, Kabe is a is a veteran player. Uh, he knows how to play the game really well. Again, he can play he can play weak side. Um, this team can still be uh, not controlled, but like really helmed by Febavin still, because I think this was Febavin's. Um, and you know, we talked to him about this on on the show uh, a couple times. Um, this was Febavin's like team to kind of bring up, right? And and you saw him kind of taking that that leadership role, and I think it worked really, really well for the team for uh, a lot of their successes. Um, and I think, I, I do think Kabe is a, is a good fit for this team, and I think it should allow um, players like uh, Razork, like Denik, to shine a bit more, where we did see, like in my opinion, Febvin was actually consistently good. Um, but Razork and Denik are the two players where we saw like these like really, really brilliant moments and then um, some mistakes because they're rookies, you know. So um, I actually think this could be like a, a really interesting team to watch with with Kabe on it. Tyler, what do you think? Yeah, same. I, I agree on the whole. I think Misfits, again, will be a playoff team. I, I agree with everything Emily says in terms of their potential. My entire thing about the Kabe situation, I still feel bad for B-Boy. Uh, he's bounced around from, he's, you know, a South Korean player who started in South Korean Challenger. He bounced to China, played for Starhorn Rival Club, Young Miracles, finally got a start in the LPL with behind Imp on GD Gaming. That didn't work out. He went to Latin America and played for Furious Gaming. And then he finally got a starter job in a major region with Misfits, made it in the playoffs, had a decent to good season, and then because of the domino effect of double lift going to TSM, Kabe going to Misfits, he's now out of a job, and he's kind of in this weird limbo situation where we everyone felt bad for Kabe, and I felt bad for Kabe, and I think people should still feel bad about Bevo because no, he's, it's a global pandemic. He's a South Korean player in Europe. It's a really sucky situation. I just want to say I hope B-Boy finds a team because he's a good player, and I hope he can find a situation where they actually can build around him.